the base structure is established, it is time to add twigs and leaves to the tree. Now we could have created the twigs as another iteration loop with the existing segment node, but this would have been more complicated to achieve because the twigs will grow with different growth rules than the branches. So it's easier to use a separate node here. Let's add another advanced segment node to the scene and rename it to twigs. When we look at the plant in the viewport, we will see that the new node grows from all branching levels and from the trunk. And this is obviously not useful because twigs should grow only from the last branching level and not from all of them. So we need to make the twigs part of our loop and tell Plant Factory to grow them on a specific repetition of this loop only. And thankfully this is easy to do because we just need the last node from the loop category. I'll drag the node over the connection line while holding down control on the keyboard and when the line turns red, I can release the mouse to snap the node into place. And now the twigs are growing on the last iteration only, which is the last branching level. You can also switch this to the equivalent all but last. And as the name suggests, the twigs will now grow on all levels, but the last one. For this project, that's not useful, but it's good to know that it's there. Okay, so let's adjust the twigs next. We're not going to bother with too much detail, so let's make this a 4 to 6 cm short twig with a 1 mm radius. Then we'll add a leaf node to the twig. Let's scale the leaf down to 9 plus minus 1 cm and add some slight relative randomness to both x and y. And to make the twigs more horizontal, I will add some horizontal orientation tropism. Okay, so let's load the leaf material next that is supplied with the project files for this tutorial. To achieve some depth for the leaves, I will subdivide the leaf node once across each axis and add some positive curvature along the width and some negative one along the length. For adjusting the growth rules, let's go back to the twig node and change the placement on the child tab to tip of the segment with some slight angle variations. To make the leaves more horizontal, we can use the rotation strength in the tropism group. Okay, and next we will need to adjust the twig placement in the trunk and branches node. So first, let me rename the tab to twigs. Okay. I want to have more twigs, so I will go with 8 plus minus 1 children per branch in lateral pair plus 90 degree mode. And to align the twigs closer to the branches, I will increase the angle. Alright, so we are ready to finish the canopy shape of the tree by adding bifurcating branches and twigs. We will achieve this using nested repeats, which we will cover in the next lesson, so see you there. Music